Hi, this is Steve from Open Flight Solutions, and in this brief video, I'm going to show you how to install our latest, and least expensive yet, AHARS upgrade kit for flight box. Start by removing the top from the flight box by removing the three screws that hold the top on. Once you have the top off, you're going to need to disconnect the fan from the pin header. Then you're going to want to disconnect the fan from the top of the case, because we're going to replace that with a new fan, which came with your upgrade kit. So remove these four screws. This may be a little bit of a challenge if you use Loctite or something to hold it in place, which is not a bad idea. Um, not necessarily going to make it easy, but you can do it and then back the screws out. You may have to sort of start them. They're kind of tight in there. What we're going to do is install a new fan, and that new fan is much, much lower profile, which gives us room to install the tiny new AHARS board in the case. So now we've got that taken off. Let's go ahead and take the kit out. You see, we've got the instructions saying, go watch this video. There's also written instructions on that page. Um, you've got the screw kit you use to install the, uh, the fan. You have the actual AHARS module, which is a, a tiny little thing that's in there that we're going to be mounting on the pin header on the Pi. And then you've got the fan. Now the fan gets mounted so that this sticker goes face down on the top so that it's blowing air out. In fact, if you turn it over, you can see the sticker there. Just line up those holes. We're going to use these four tiny screws and four tiny nuts. And probably the most challenging part of this is that the nuts need to fit down into the pockets you see on the bottom of the fan. So there are these four pockets for screws. The screw are pardon, for nuts. The nuts don't fit exactly in there. You kind of start them and then they get pulled down into the pocket. So you'll kind of see, as I screw that in, it tightens up and pulls down. That means there's no way for that to back out, so we don't have to use Loctite. You'll also notice that these are much smaller screws so that they're sitting a little bit indented. That's okay, they won't pull through. So repeat for the other three pockets and go ahead and get the fan attached to the top. By the way, you can discard that old fan or use it for some electronics project if you're geeky, but we won't be needing it again with the flight box. Also, if anything that you see in this seems outside of your comfort zone, we are happy to do the installation for you. There's a uh, $35 fee, and that includes the installation, software update if necessary, and uh, return shipping to you. So you can order that off of our website. It'll include instructions for shipping your system in. So if you're looking at this video going, hmm, this is not my thing, understandable, we will be happy to help out there too. So there we go. We now have the top on there. Now the next thing we want to do is get the module out of its little case tear that open or cut it open with a knife or scissors and remove it. And you'll see that this little guy has this block of, uh, of black plastic, which is where it connects to the pins on the Pi. And you'll see that there's these two pins here, which are where our fan is going to connect. And this is going to go in at the very end up here by the antenna. So make sure that it's covering both rows of pins and that it's starting on the first row and going over the first one, two, three, four, five, six rows of pins, it looks like. So then it's installed, looks like that. And then next thing you're gonna need to do is connect the fan to those two pins you see sticking out there. Uh, now, the, you'll see one is labeled plus and the other is uh, labeled minus. Make sure that the red lead gets connected to the plus side and the black lead gets connected to the minus side. The plus side is closest to the row of pins from the Raspberry Pi. 
Let me pull it up and see if we can get a good close-up on that. There we go. So, and plus it's rather hard to see, but it's in there. All right, once you've got that done, make sure you keep the wire so that it's not following the, uh, the case and it's not covering up your GPS antenna. By the way, I will mention that you do need to have a GPS installed for AHARS to work. Uh, we use the GPS to correct for drift in the sensors, and so you have to have that. Otherwise, the values that you see will not be accurate. The other thing you need to do is update to at least version 1.4 R5, because that is the version that has the drivers for the fan controller, uh, which actually keeps the system cool. If you don't have that in there, the uh, the AHARS will work. If you've got like version 1.4 R4, but the fan will never come on, and you might wind up with your system shutting down due to overheating. So there you go. That is all there is to it. it takes most people oh five minutes, maybe ten at the most. If you have any questions, let us know. Thanks.